Ew! It's musking all over me. While my wife Kathy went out hiking, she alerted me of a snake. I quickly grabbed my camera and ran to the scene. It remained motionless, watching my move as I quickly snapped a few photos. It began to slither away. I jumped to the scene before it got away. Boom! A strike! It missed my hand. I waited for it to come down before lifting it up in order to have a better grasp. Nice and simple. There we go. Awesome. Cool. So I wasn't expecting to find a snake. He's out here doing some video editing. Ew. It's musking all over me. You see that dripping? Yeah. Well, wipe it on yourself. Typical snakes. So that's a uh, defense mechanisms that cluebirds do. Oh man. There we go. You see that? Zoom in on that. So if you've seen my previous video where I was talking about the rat snakes and how they'll sometimes musk on themselves to have this foul odor and ickiness that kind of causes predators to leave them alone, well that's exactly what this snake did. And at first, first glance, based on the dark color, you will look at it and be like, ooh, it's a black rat snake. Actually it's not. See, if you look at his body, you can see underneath of it, it does not have the checkered pattern that the rat snake does. And also, it has that like nice blue slate color on the top. So this is actually a racer. So it is a species of colubrid related to both the hognose snake and the western rat snake. And another wonderful snake found here in the Missouri Ozarks. So as you notice, that as I was approaching him, unlike the rat snake uh, in the previous video, this guy, he just started taking off, like picked up speed. Well, the hognose snake flared out its neck and tried to act all big and tough. So each snake definitely has its unique, unique way of fighting against predators and trying to escape predators. I'm actually honestly surprised that this guy is not trying to bite me right now. Of course, you know, a lot of times when I pick up snakes, I do expect to get bitten. But this is pretty exciting. I am glad that we found a different snake here in Missouri and not just a common western rat snake, but a lovely racer. Fast snakes you are, aren't you? Adorable for sure. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this fellow down and let him take off. Let's see how fast he goes. Watch him be super slow. Okay, you're a racer, so start racing. Here we go. Nice and gentle. Beautiful snake, very smooth skin. Ooh, he's curling up at you. So right now, what he's doing is he's rubbing that musk all over himself, making him icky. <laughs> so that way I wouldn't try to eat him. He's a stinky boy now. <laughs> I could definitely confirm that after placing him on the ground and he rubbing himself in all that musk, man, is that, does he smell? I do not want to pick him back up right now. I feel like I've managed to avoid it when he was musking to the point where my hands don't stink, but if I try to grab him right now, <laughs> it's gonna be a stinky car ride back home, that's for sure. Isn't that right? I also feel like he's getting closer to me. See that tail? Oh yeah. Yeah, so like the rat snake, he they also will vibrate their tail to make themselves look like a rattlesnake to confuse animals thinking that they're rattlesnake. So when he was vibrating his tail right now, you couldn't really hear it, but imagine being on a bunch of leaf litter and then that vibrating tail smacks against the leaf litter, it would almost sound like a rattlesnake rattle. So with rattlesnakes, they will rattle their tail to let predators know that they are in the area. So the rattlesnake rattling his tail warns the predators like, hey, I'm a rattlesnake, I have venom, I will bite. Well, this guy being a harmless colubrid, not venomous, they don't have venom that could harm a predator. 
So they try to fool predators into thinking that they do have deadly venom like a rattlesnake. Beautiful snake. So I'm going to try to grab my camera and get back in this position because this would be actually a cool shot of him right now just in this position staring at me. So I'm going to see if I could grab my camera and come back over here for this. But there's a great chance that the moment I move from this spot that this snake is going to watch me leave and then turn around and slither away. We'll see. Hopefully I could get lucky with a shot. But if this snake does decide to take off, we're going to let the snake be and go off on his little merry way. Is that right? Now, can you stay there just for a little bit until I get my camera, okay? Do we have an agreement? I don't think we have an agreement. Oh, yep, he's vibrating that tail again. Still there, awesome. Ugh. So, in his position, in terms of snake photography, I have the wrong lens for this. Oh, wait, is he moving? Where is he going? Oh, I think he's going to take off. I think I'm going to miss my shot. Yep. Cool. So I'm going to just go ahead and let him go now. If you want to go ahead and follow him. He's fast. Yeah, go a little quicker. And go. Great, so... That's a wrist racer for you. Quick, smooth skin, slick snake, able just to go from point A to point B at a fast pace. So definitely able to get out of there as quick as possible. I love racers, really cool snakes, that is for sure. I am so glad we got to see a racer. So, so far for this Missouri summer expedition that we're having, that's three species of snakes I was able to cross off the list just by going out and about cruising the roads and exploring places. Bye, Snake! If you wish to see more videos by me, Trevor LeClaire, then subscribe to Trekking with Trevor for more wildlife adventures.